Welcome to the video on how to add parties to a civil case in the court's case management and electronic case filing system, also known as CMECF. During the process of opening a civil case, you will be prompted to enter the parties to your case. Address information should not be entered unless that party is proceeding pro se. Click Next. Please have your complaint available for reference. You will need to enter the party names as they appear in the complaint. We will use a fictitious case title in this lesson. The first party is a minor. Minors must be identified by their initials only. Do not enter any full name for a minor. Type the minor's initials J period L period J period in the appropriate boxes. Click Search. Check the search results box to see if your party's name is in the court's database. If it is in the database, then you should use that party name record as long as it does not have an address associated with it. JLJ does not appear in the search results box, so we must create a new party record. To do that, click the Create New Party button. The party information screen appears. The role field defaults to amicus. This must be changed to the appropriate role. Click the arrow to see the list of party roles. Scroll down the list. Click Plaintiff. In the party text box, we will type a minor by and through his guardian ad litem, Jane Jones. When adding parties in CMECF, never change the start date or the notice fields. Click the Add Party button. To add the second plaintiff, John Jones, type his name in the appropriate boxes. Click Search. John Jones appears in the search results box. Double click the name to see if an address is associated with it. Since there is no address associated with this party name record, we will use it. Click the X to close the window. John Jones remains selected in the search results box. Click Select Party. The party information screen appears. The role should be changed to Plaintiff. Click the arrow to see the drop down list of party roles. Scroll down the list. Click Plaintiff in the drop down list. Click Add Party. John Jones's name now appears in the participant tree located in the left pane. He has an alias, Jonathan Jones. To associate an alias with an existing party name record, click the alias icon directly beneath the existing party's name in the left partition. In the last name text box, we will type Jones. Click Search. Scroll down the list. Look for Jonathan Jones. Double click Jonathan Jones. Since there is no address associated with this party name record, we will use it. Click the X to close the window. Click Select Alias. By default, ADLITM, which stands for Guardian Ad Litem, appears in the Type field. Click the arrow to see a drop down list of abbreviations of alias types that are available. In this lesson, we will click AKA, which stands for Also Known As. Do not alter the alias start date. Click Add Alias. Now we will add the first defendant. Click the Add New Party button in the left partition. Type Our Town Unified School District in the last business name text box. Click Search. Double click the party's name in the search results box to see if an address is associated with it. Since there is no address, we will use this name. Click the X to close the window. Our Town Unified School District remains selected in the search results box. Click Select Party. The party information screen appears. The role should be changed to Defendant. Click the arrow to see the drop down list of party roles. Click Defendant in the drop down list. Click Add Party. The next defendant is Fred Bloggs Jr. as an individual. Type his name in the appropriate boxes. Click Search. Fred Bloggs Jr. does not appear in the search results box. We will need to create a new party record for him. Click 
the Create New Party button. Type JR in the Generation box. Click the arrow to change the party role. Click Defendant. Type an individual in the party text box. Click Add Party. We will create a second party name record for Fred Bloggs Jr. in his official capacity. Type Fred Bloggs in the appropriate boxes. Click Search. Fred Bloggs Jr. now appears in the search results box because we just created it. Click the name. Click Select Party. Click the arrow to open the list of party roles. Scroll down the list. Click Defendant. In the party text box, type in his official capacity as superintendent of Our Town Unified School District. Click Add Party. Finally, we will add the Doe defendants by typing Doe's in the last name box. Click Search. Do not select Doe's in all caps. Double click Doe's. We will use this party name because no address is associated with it. Click X to close the window. Click Select Party. Click the arrow to change the party role. Scroll down the list. Click Defendant. Type 1 through 10 inclusive in the party text box. Click Add Party. Please review the participant tree located in the left pane on the screen. Scroll down the page to make sure that the names of all the parties in your case are correctly displayed. To delete a party name, click the red X icon. To finalize the entry of these parties to your case, you must click the Create Case button. Once you click the Create Case button, you will not be able to go back and change the parties. Thank you for watching the video on how to add parties to a civil case in CMECF. Goodbye.